It's a long day for three-year-old Letty, up at dawn and working until dusk, picking the chili peppers Mexico is so famous for. It's grueling work, even for adults. But the more Letty picks, the more money her family earns. Working the fields in central Mexico has always been a family affair. Maunilo started picking when he was just 13, and now works alongside his children, the youngest just four months old. It's normal for our kids. We don't rush them. They do what they can, and we let them rest when they need to. Most of these kids live in makeshift houses with dozens of other migrants. The state government has plans to build public daycares, but the few that exist are not free. They provide two meals a day and lack basics, such as toys, and offer few educational opportunities. We just can't pick these kids up without having a place to put them. It's not just a question of feeding them, but also educating them. There are literally dozens of children under 10 years old who are spending up to six hours a day in the blistering sun picking peppers that will eventually be sold in Mexico and exported to the United States. And these children earn their families a little less than $30 per day. Nearly 300,000 kids under the age of 14 work illegally in Mexico's fields, according to the United Nations. A new labor law carrying harsher punishments for offenders, including prison sentences, is helping the government to crack down. But with only around 300 federal farm inspectors working across the entire country, few here fear any consequences. If an inspector comes, we could be in trouble, but they never show up. Leaving children like Leti with little choice but to keep shouldering their load. Rachel Levin, Al Jazeera, in the fields of Sinaloa, Western Mexico.